show. Samantha wants to be a housewife. So she's pretty much housewife during the day. But when the time comes, she is ready to become a witch. So this is the dress that has a double function. It can either be a beautiful cocktail party dress, and I'll show it to you now. Very French in lines. Uh, this dress is actually you typical little black dress that everybody should have at home. Uh, it is done in a satiny black tie fabric to which I have added the stripes. The stripes are actually ribbons, polka dotted ribbons in baby pink. Uh, so, you know, you, everybody knows how witches love their stripes and I just had to put this element in this dress. Uh, to separate the skirt from the bodies of the dress, I have added some lace. very French, like I was saying. And over the lace, over the lace, I have given it several organza translucent ribbons that pretty much sit like little butterflies. For the top, I crisscrossed the ribbon so that the look would be that of a corset. And some lace little flowers allow for a very pretty neck. So this is a dress that it is casual and elegant. It has a lining of two. Which makes the pieces stay well together and armed at all times. It is lined in French twine to complete that French look. And it is a very, very elegant little dress that goes with every color. Uh, with this dress comes a tiny little hat. This is an extra small. It's perfect size for a Yorkie, for a little Chihuahua. And I would customize it to fit your babies. Let me give attention to the dress, to the hat. The hat is all done by hand and is made from gross grain, ribbon, that it is twisted around to form the comb look of the dress. I have added two little bats, and the bats are there for just yet another dimension, a 3D element of this kid's hat. There are organza flowers, two of them, and the little center is made of pearls, very feminine. And for the whimsical effect, the black, traditional witch's black one. So the feathers make it a witch dress. Okay, I'm gonna move on now to our second dress. Okay, 
wow. This is what I say, it's a wow dress. All you purple lovers out there, you cannot pass on this rich dress because it is a spectacular. When I set to create this piece, I had a challenge in mind. I wanted to create a witch dress that was very Halloweenian so that I could play with all the fun elements of Halloween. The lace, uh, uh, the spider webs, the spiders, the bats, the collars, and yet still make it a stylish Kiki Hammond piece. So this is my creation, which I'm very proud of. I absolutely think it's wonderful. Let me talk about everything that makes this dress because there is a lot that goes on into the dress. The first thing that I like to talk about are the textures that are involved in this dress. The bodice of the dress is done in crushed velvets, and I opted for that material because it reflects the changes of seasons, but it is, it is also a fabric that catches the light and plays with the shadows in different ways, so it gives it a costume feel that I really love. It adds drama to the piece. Uh, to the center of the bodice of the dress, I have added an organza ribbon that is large, purple, and it has little black bags. And that creates some interest in the center area. Silk petals of all shades of purple and mauve come stream on the side like two little rivers of flowers. And all these petals were hand placed one by one to create this full effect. And please notice the little bats sitting there. And that is for that cute effect that we all want. For a very feminine touch, I've given this dress a double bow. I want it to be full and dramatic and that would be noticed regardless of how the dog was uh, either sitting down or standing up or sideways you cannot miss this bone i have chosen to use two different ribbons and the first one on top is actually of the same purple one with the bats and then the one on the bottom is a silver organza bow it has spider webs and it has uh, bling blings all around it it's really very 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 fun to look at. Little flowers make the, the middle of the bow. Now the skirt, please notice, it's not just any skirt. This is a Kiki Hammond skirt, so it is a three-layered skirt and it will sit beautifully and arm to perfection. The skirt is composed of two. That gives it the bodice. And in this case, it's lavender too. Over the two, my choice for fabric was an intense and very elegant purple damask. It is embossed with velvet black, creating the traditional damask motif. And please notice that a very elegant trim makes the edge of the skirt. Um, every time I do a skirt, I double my fabric, so for extra body and for value. On top of the damask, I've given it a fun Halloween lace that has spiders and webs. And I have scalloped the base of the skirt so that the, the beautiful, elegant fabric underneath can be seen. The skirt, of course, has a little, uh, the little bats as well, and just to add the whimsical to Halloween. I'm going to now turn the dress around so you can get a full look of the dress. And I will put it down so that I can talk about the little hat that comes with it. Look at this hat and tell me that you don't have a smile on your face now. This is a Kiki Hammond witch dress. Not your conventional witch dress, but 
but in haute couture. Elegant dress. Dre uh, the hat, I'm sorry, I've been saying dress, I really mean hat. The hat is made from the same gorgeous, elegant damask fabric. And that composes the cone part of the dress. And then for the rim, instead of using the black traditional rim, I ruffled the same, lay the same ribbon that I have used on the dress. So what you see as a rim, is ruffled ribbing. On top of the rim, I have added some fun feather bois in fuchsia. Extra drama. This is a very hot witch that we're talking about. And then as a final accent piece, I have a black camellia and feathers, like crow feathers. Extra light and a perfect match to the dress. Okay, witch number two is not a purple witch. She likes her oranges. So for a very orange girl this Halloween, we have created another beautiful witch dress. The same choice of materials were used. We have the crushed velvet, this time in orange, and the stream of flowers coming down in all shades of reds and oranges and touches of yellow, making it a very seasonal piece. I have opted for a beautiful plaid, and that's what I have as a centerpiece of the bodice. And the little cute bats really play well against the, all this orange going on. My choice for the damask was to use a gray damask in Boston black. I love the combination of gray and orange. It is a strikingly elegant and I wanted to be able to use that combination in this dress. Please notice the fun lace that we have on this one. This one has little bats and spider webs. And I chose to edge it in orange to complement the top of the dress. Okay, all my dresses have tulle, and in this case, the tulle that I am using is black tulle. Okay, so let's look at the hat that goes with this dress. And here you go. Beautiful orange, dramatic hat. The same as the purple one, the damask on top, and then the bois, very vivid and bright. The black camellia, the crow's feather. And I have used the same ribbon that I used on the double bow, but this time I have airbrushed the ribbon to give it an orange color and it would be just beautiful all together. So, whether you are a purple girl or an orange girl, there's a couture witch dress waiting here for you. This is it. This is the last week that I'll be taking orders for, for custom pieces. Halloween is just around the corner. The beautiful uh, dresses that you're seeing here today, they were custom ordered, and they were ordered by Rose Russo in New York. So they'll be flying to meet two beautiful cavaliers. The purple one is for Lily Pads, and the orange one is for Penny Lane, and I can't wait to see them on them. So please email me or send me a, uh, an inbox on Facebook and I'll be glad to customize an order just for you. 
Thank you so much. I'll see you at Halloween. Bye-bye. Oh.